ladies and gentlemen. My name is Total Biscuit of the Wild WoW Podcast. Blue, please, on... S oh, not you again. Oh. Not once but twice have I seen you drown, and yet thy liveth. <sighs> Sorry, I've been playing a little bit on RP server. I'm getting a little bit verily over in this hizzy. Right, well, this is the entrance to Uldum. That is a camel, the only one that is chewing. The rest of them are very stoic about it. That one is also missing part of its stomach, which is a little unfortunate. Ugh, a ghastly texture bug. Now, I said that a lot of these zones have intros. This is no exception. This is a little bit more interactive than some of them. You are tasked to go with this convoy to go into Oldham and discover its secrets, which you will then rip from its flesh. Or maybe not. Apparently nobody rides the lady. I see. I wouldn't want to ride something like that anyway. It's like it would just sort of collapse down the middle. It's already sliced in its midriff anyway. And I don't know where the grunting's coming from. I actually don't want to know. It sounds orcish. I definitely don't want to know. Oh, there you go. There we go. Fantastic. Ahoy! Uh... Please die. Please. And on to Oldham we go. This is buggy as hell, by the way. So you're going to see things that do not work. It's a beta. Get the hell over it. You'll also notice that a lot of this video is suffering from some frame rate drops. This area is not properly optimized right now and is hammering my frame rate into the ground. It's perfectly playable without fraps on, but, well, those of you who have ever used fraps will be well aware of what that does to your system. And in this case, in combination with the lack of optimization as of yet, this area does not run all that well. But hey, it'll get fixed, no doubt. Oh, wonderful. Just what I always wanted. Did you notice there, though, that they do actually throw the horns? So I do have a little bit more respect for the pygmies. I also like the fact that everyone else is freaking out there. My troll's like, yes, yeah, sod off, you bastards. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He'd better not be referring to my beautiful troll, because if that's the case, genocide is afoot, ladies and gentlemen. This zone is heavily laden in cutscenes. Some of you may regard that as bad. I personally love it. Cutscenes are good, as long as they are used in moderation. You are supposed to be able to skip these in the live game, but there is no method to do so in the beta, not that one would really want to. They want you to test the cutscenes, and of course my feedback was, it's broke. My cart goes through the floor, that's not how it's supposed to work. This is not, in fact, the Brotherhood of Nod. I cannot borrow. Oh, Tiberian Sun. How awesome you were. Right. Now how are we going to get out of this mess? I'm sure we can figure something out. This would be, by the way, about the fifth time I've tried to film this and something's always gone wrong every time, whether it be a bug or an unforeseen interruption. Fifth time's a charm, I guess. Now get me the hell out of here. XP here is quite plentiful in places. Especially some of these introductory quests. You get an awful lot of stuff for it. Definitely worth doing all of this. Well, let me move then. Thank you. Aha! Now these are the Neversect. They are a group of Tolvia that has decided to side with Deathwing. Now, you'll find out a little bit more about that later on in this video. I'm going to do the first few quests of this to the point where you escape the lost city of the Tolvia right here. And you get back to the camp of the friendly Tolvia. Yeah, I'm not going to ruin the lore behind the Neversect just yet. You will gain a little bit of insight into them in a few minutes. So chill out and don't worry. As you saw, those are quite tough and they do a fair amount of damage. Now, it's a different looking Tolvia. Interesting, isn't it? You'll find out why quite soon. He's a prince of the Tolvia. And he is not happy with what has been going on with the Neferset and they have captured him. So let's go and find out for him. I mean, let's have a look at the model. Nice texture quality, as you might imagine, from a lot of the stuff that's coming in in Cataclysm. Shouldn't really shock too many people. 
You also notice that I can see some of Oldham and they have finally completed the map as opposed to that Google Maps style overview that they gave earlier. I said it would still be nice to have that as an option. That doesn't look pleasant. It's a model for a new jinn. Yes, that's an Arabian type of spirit. We've seen a similar model in the Vortex Pinnacle. It turns out they're hanging around here as well. They're actually very impressive models. I like them a lot. Now, here is the explanation behind the Nefeset. So, it turns out that the Nefeset used to be stone, but the Curse of Flesh turned them into, well, flesh. Now, they have allied with Deathwing in order to get some of their power back, and in order to do so, they talk to this Jin, and he is able to give them this armor-plated body. Now, I would think they'd probably turn them all the way back to stone, but again, this may not be entirely complete yet. Whatever the case, the Nefeset have allied with Deathwing, that is not good, and the remaining Tolvir, well, they're not too pleased about that, as you might imagine. Thankfully, we can ally with them in order to defeat the forces of Deathwing within Oldham. At least that's the plan, at any rate. Firstly, however, we need to get the hell out of here. We're going to do that by distracting them. And how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to burn some hay. Because you see, the Nefeset really like hay. It's their favorite food, and they'll be very, very annoyed if we burn their stockpiles. In fact, they'll be very upset, and they'll sort of cry for ages. Which will give us the chance to escape. This may or may not be canon. We will also have to get the key, needless to say. Will someone please explain to me? I'm a level 83 fire mage. I have taken down some of the most powerful creatures in Azeroth. I have the ability to conjure flame on command, orbs of it, massive fireballs, flame storms, and yet I can't somehow melt the chains? Really? What the hell are they made out of on Obtanium? Please. Okay, let's burn some hay. Yeah, my favorite pastime. God, it's 1.29 a.m. while I'm doing this video, so if I do talk bollocks more so than usual, that would be why. I said I'd get a proper length video out today, and I wasn't lying. Alright. Come on, just die. You might wonder why I'm not using an optimum rotation. I'm just mucking about here. I don't care. If you're going to do anything, just slap a living bomb on it, and then just hit it with a bunch of fireballs until your hot streak procs, then hit it with a pyroblast. It's not all that hard. Oh, man. I've got to empty this. <laughs> yeah, let's get rid of some of this junk. Much better. I should really mod my beta UI now that it's finally allowed. Sort out some of this junk. Ah, oh, whatever. Alright, Bale of Hay set fire to. Very upset Nefeset. Let's do it again. Not much to really do here, honestly. It's a generic kill quest. Get the drops of armor. But it's actually kind of not, because there's some armor lying around as well. You don't have to kill the Nefeset here, which is kind of unusual when you think about it. I can't think of all that many quests that allow you to either pick up items off the floor or kill creatures for them. It's nice to have the choice, I guess. Now, apparently, this large stockpile of hay, well, they don't want me to set fire to that. It's only very specific hay bales. You're going to wish you'd never set foot in Oldham. Well, judging by the bugs and performance issues thus far, I'm kind of already feeling that way. Will you stop poking me with that thing? I mean, seriously. I'm not threatened. Now, this could get a little bit messy. These guys do a lot of damage, as you can see. However, I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Go, go, mirror images. So it turns out that mirror images right now are sitting at about 30,000 health, which means I can cause a glorious firestorm right here and not be killed, which is kind of wonderful. Yeah, this is a nice, nice oh crap button. There we go. Much better. Thank you, troll minions. That will be all. And looks like I've got enough armor here for Bud's ridiculous plan. Somehow I'm thinking this isn't going to work out so well. Oh, you go away. We had enough of you the first time. Wants to be a star. Okay. Okay. We haven't got the key yet, so I'm not going to bother handing anything in here. Oh, God, I just love the architecture of this area. I mean, look at it. It's so goddamn cool. My apologies. Random outburst. It tends to happen when I'm flying around in Oldham. It's... Yeah. <laughs> I love this zone, despite the bugs. 
And despite the nonsense and the performance issues, it's just such an amazing zone. I just I got a thing for Egyptian and Persian and Arabian architecture, which this entire zone is a big mix of. You've got some blatant Egyptian stuff in here, but then you've got Jin, which are Arabian, a little bit of Persian stuff in there. It's cool. It's really, really awesome. Cavern the Callus. Oh god, how did this get here? I'm not good with prisons. What is it with the poking? Seriously, is that all they do? They just poke? Will you quit it? Thank you very much. I'm fairly sure the end of that probably isn't the sharpest bit. It's not what it's designed for. It's not a spear, dumbass. Seriously, I wonder if Deathwing is aware of these inept minions he's got. I should probably let him know. He'll come down here and torch the whole place. Right. Yes, we have destroyed the sacred hay. And also this key. There you go. Now, bud, what exactly do you want the armor for? One has to wonder. I cannot wait to find out what dumb thing he's about to do. This is kind of neat, though. You could choose between either 200 gold or a bunch of rep. Huh. Well, since I have like 5,000 in the beta and I don't need any, the choice is obvious. Those of you wondering what the rep factions were, well, that's one of them. Ram Kahen. Resisting the urge to go meow. What is it with all the bad language that's being used in Cataclysm at the minute? We had bitch, we've had half-assed. It's a mature game now, folks. Honest. Now, what exactly does Bud plan on doing? I uh, right. I should have known. What is there to say, really, other than Bud is the plucky comic relief? I really hope he gets incinerated by Deathwing. I really, really do. <laughs> well, you don't see anything like that in Wrath. I'll give him that. That's pretty much it for the opening of Olden, folks. You go to Ram Kahen and you start questing here with the friendly Tolvir. The ones that purr and you can pet and like to eat meow mix. Yes, hopefully you will be. Give me money. Cats don't need money anyway. I wonder where they keep it. Actually, no, I don't want to know. That is a badass staff, though. I want that staff, and I certainly hope you can get it. There you go, folks. There's the introduction to Oldham. I've got a bed. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.